Oh iya. Yeah. <laughs> um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And t tonight I'm Jenny Zillow, evaluator, and I'm really glad having this job because I haven't seen Jenny for like a um, couple of weeks, and I've heard that she just came back from a workshop that she has, she had attended, an international workshop about design. And tonight she has. She has shared with us her latest presentation, which is also brought in her workshop, the gold medal winning presentation about mature craft. And um, she said that she hadn't had much time for you know um, pre preparing this speech. So she decided to combine her C7 with C8, which the objective is to research your topic, what, which is obviously well researched and then provide it with a proper visual aid. And she combined this two pr project very, very smartly and also very outstandingly. Because, you know, as far as, as, as far as I know that C7 and C8 matches so well, because once you have just an idea that comes through your mind, especially that it is not that general, so you have to do some research, and then you present it with an aid or anything that is possible to make your audience know what you're talking about. And these C7 and C8 matches is so well that for me it is like having co-stone co ice cream with banana flavor and added with a chocolate topping. You know, these two combina combination is so, so well that I love it so much. And tonight, I, I, after listening to Jenny's um, presentation, I have some comments, but mostly it is compliments. First, um, she in her in her beginning she asked a question. She asked how how long haven't you hugged your grandparents? You know this is so emotion. This is so emotion that gathers all the audience's emotion together to focus on herself and also her topic. Because we all know that emotion correlates with the speaker's topic. Once you are speaking with a serious issue such as a um, social issue, you may be a little serious. But tonight she is sharing. Uh, something with her creativity and also with her relationship with she and her grandma. So this is so touching. She correlates the emotion so well. And also I can see so much sincerity in her eyes. I, I can also feel the warmth about her and her grandmother through her presentation. And next I want to point out is her intonation and pronunciation. It is so well that, you know, it, it flows in so well from the beginning to the end and I enjoyed it a lot. And um, as the part that she visualized her presentation is like she brought us to emotional journey starting with she and her grandmother and then a lunchbox exchange and then she visualized this relationship into a cycle of exchanging lunchboxes and in, in, in my house because my grandparents only live in the neighbors and usually when I come home back in Taichung she will give us a call and say I've made dinner and I've made something that Daniel likes to eat and she will ask my mom to bring it to my back to my house. So I can clearly you know, understand this feeling but the only difference between me and my family and Jenny and her grandmother is that we, all, we always return my granny's lunchbox empty instead of filling it with another new foods. This is the only difference but you know the whole idea is so getting into the heart of the audience. I think it is really good and I love her presentation. And the only thing that I like to point out that disturb, disturbs me a little is about the mouse, you know. Um, it's not, it's no big deal, but for, to enhance her stage performance, I would recommend her using a remote control if it's possible, instead of fixed on a, you know, a constant, a constant spot and pressing the ugly mouth with a really <laughs> long wire. <laughs> you know, actually this is kind of cute. So all in all, it is still very good. And I, I, I don't know whether I'm lucky enough to listen to your C9 and C10, but I will watch it on YouTube. <laughs> okay, back to <laughs> general <laughs> <laughs>